Hey guys, welcome to the IS guide. See in this video, we'll be discussing day three and part three video. Okay, day three of part three, and this is sociology online course, seventy-five days course for civil service exam, two thousand eighteen. And let's see what we'll be discussing in this part three. Okay, see the third concept that is the interaction perspective will be discussing in this part three. Okay, see actually this interaction perspective, you know, actually this perspective is uh, quite different when compared to the previous two perspective. Okay, see actually functionalist perspective and conflict perspective are the previous two perspective. Actually, they analyze the society in macro level. Okay, both functionalist as well as conflict. They analyze the society in the macro level, whereas the interactions perspective, you know, it analyzes the society at the micro level. Okay, that is what the difference between this perspective and previous two perspective. Micro level uh, analyze analysis of the society, the interaction perspective does. Okay, actually, these approaches, you no, know, attempt to explain society wide pattern of behavior. I'll repeat. This approach, interaction perspective approach, attempts to explain the society wide pattern of behaviors. Okay, and the interaction perspective analyzes the society at the micro level, as said earlier. Okay, because uh, the contemporary sociologists know they are more interested uh, to understand the facts like uh, micro level facts. Okay, like uh, two friends uh, who are uh, actually talking very casually, you know, they, they analyze what kind of conversation they are doing. Okay, this type of analysis is very interested for today's uh, sociologist. I'll repeat the point again. The interaction perspective analyzes the society at the micro level and today's, that is contemporary societies, sociologists are more interested to understand the interaction which is taking place between two close friends who are sitting in a garden and talking for an example okay that kind of micro analysis uh, the sociologist is interested in interaction perspective okay they want to know what kind of conversation is going on between father and son they want to know what kind of uh, interaction is going on between uh, student and teacher they want to know what kind of interaction is going on between two friends okay that kind of minor details they are going to actually analyze that is what is known as interaction perspective okay and this perspective generalizes about the fundamentals or everyday forms of social interaction okay the point here to be noted is generalizers it is not a specialist kind of thing it only generalizes the everyday form of social interaction okay the interaction perspective observes the conversation between different peoples or different individuals in generalized way okay what they uh, what kind of interaction they are doing today what kind of interaction they are doing, uh, doing tomorrow okay all each and everything they will not note down okay they will just do certain kind of experimentation taking into account let's say six months okay in six months different parts of the uh, different parts of uh, their country you know they will just travel and thus they will do experimentation and in that experimentation generally they will actually uh, report like a, a kind of report they will prepare after experimentation of six months at different places observing different individuals okay and when general uh, general perspective they will write in this report okay not specific okay what kind of interaction is going on between individuals in a general manner they will write the report okay that is known as generalistic perspective not specific okay and this perspective was influenced by max weber okay this perspective was influenced by max weber max weber is the person who have worked extensively when it comes to interaction perspective Okay, and also not only Max Weber, another uh, sociologist is there, very famous sociologist. But after Max Weber, he has contributed, and his name is Herbert Mead, George Herbert Mead. I'll write his name here. George Herbert Mead. Okay, this is the person who have actually contributed to the interaction perspective after Max Weber. Okay. And the next point is 
this perspective that is interactions perspective tries to understand how people create and interpret the situation they experience on daily life okay this perspective you know it actually understands tries to understand what people are actually uh, talking how they are creating meaning okay see you tell me how the meaning meaning is uh, who will give uh, the meaning for daily activities definitely people will give you know the meaning for daily activities daily we will observe the people what kind of interactions they are doing okay like that we are going to behave that is known as how people create and interpret the situation by experience for example if we see certain kind of snakes okay if we see some snake no everybody is actually definitely everybody gets anxious okay everybody will get fear when they see snake suddenly on a road let's say example okay definitely people will run and they will call for help snake is there come on help me okay see uh, how do you know that uh, you have to run and you have to call for help do you know that people will come and help you definitely you know that because it is socially constructed snake means you know that everybody has uh, if a kind of fear when it comes to snake how come you know that everybody has fear it is due to the daily experiences okay that is what i am telling here people create and interpret the situations by their experience on daily basis okay that is what is more interested in interactionist perspective okay see if there is any kind of quarrel going on why do you call police okay if certain kind of uh, unrest is going on in city why do people uh, ring up to the police and why they call okay they know that okay they have learned whenever certain kind of a uh, situation which is uh, not good for the society is going on definitely we have to inform the police this is socially constructed nobody will teach in university or nobody will teach in your uh, schools or colleges okay it is by your own experience you will be getting to know that is known as interpreting daily experiences right okay? it is socially constructed okay society is ultimately created ultimately maintained and changed by social interaction of its member i'll repeat again society is ultimately created ultimately maintained as well as ultimately changed by the social interaction of its member okay see we cannot tell that what is the uh, meaning for certain situations in society today and the same meaning will be there 100 years afterwards we cannot tell like that because the meaning what people give for daily experiences it changes over a course of time okay that's the reason the meaning what the people's give for the social phenomena is actually a uh, socially constructed by people okay people um, uh, people changes okay new people's will come okay so whenever uh, there is a huge uh, uh, transformation in the people's thinking the socially constructed meaning also changes okay for example i will give uh, this uh, puberty attending puberty of girls no it was considered some kind of uh, uh, they were not comfortable actually in village sites but today they will not actually look as if they were looking in traditional india okay today it's a it's a matter of biology okay attending puberty of and girl is a matter of biology okay so how this kind of change happened means through the constant interaction of the members only this kind of changes will happen people will interact what is right what is wrong how we have to think over a course of time the meaning changes okay that's what we are trying to say here and the interaction perspective has many approaches actually okay there are certain four approaches in interaction perspective within interaction perspective okay the first approach is known as dramaturgical approach see a uh, dramaturgical approach no it was put forward by goffman in the year 1959 goffman was the person who has put this dramaturgical approach okay see the word itself tells this approach it is nothing but the goffman sees social life as a form of theater okay he sees a social life as a form of theater in which people play different roles and stage manage their life okay and the impression they create on others that is known as dramaturgical approach 
that means in dramatical approach social life is a form of theater social life is a form of theater and peoples are actors in it okay peoples or individuals are actors in it who will perform their activity they will perform their roles okay and they manage their lives according to their roles and they give a certain kind of impression on others that is what is known as dramaturgical a kind of theater where people participate and they do certain kind of roles through which they manage their life and create impression on others example a civil servant what civil servant will do definitely civil servant no uh, civil servant is also like a actor okay he considers himself as a agent of bureaucracy and uh, what roles he performs district collector role okay and through district collector role definitely he will ma manage his life people know what is the meaning of uh, why district collector is there okay like that he is managing his life and he is creating a certain kind of impression on others through his dynamic behavior okay through his elegant dynamic and uh, good behaviors that is what the role of a dc for an example i have taken if you take a role of an actor film actor different role will be there it depends on an individual how he acts in the society how he manages his, himself in the society and how he creates an impression on others regarding himself image building what we will be calling it as all these are included in dramaturgical approach life is a kind of theater it talks about okay then let's move on to the next approach that is known as exchange approach see exchange approach was uh, uh, put forward by george homans in the year 1961 george homans is the person who has put this uh, exchange approach these approaches attempted to explain so, uh, just a minute guys just a minute okay exchange approach see actually here no Uh, George Homans actually stresses on the way people control another's behavior. That is known as exchange. Controlling another's behavior is known as exchange approach. How do people control another behavior? Definitely by exchanging various forms of rewards and punishment for approved as well as disapproved behavior. That is what the exchange approach. I'll repeat again. Exchange approach was put forward by George Homans. he stresses on the way people control another person behavior by exchanging various forms of rewards and punishments for approved or disapproved behavior okay i'll explain it again see the actual meaning of this one is people actually control the behavior of another person towards him how definitely in our society you know there is actually a kind of rewards will be there for good activities and there will be a kind of punishment will be there for bad activities rewards are known as approved behaviors okay and punishments are known as disapproved behaviors okay see definitely in our society you know exchange mechanism is very well planned see who are rewarded definitely the person who is hard working if we take a student definitely a person who is very actually hard working who is striving hard to uh, make up his career definitely he will be rewarded definitely he will be rewarded by the uh, people people will tell that okay nice man he is actually striving hard for, to excel in his career people will reward actually for them and if some other person instead of who is a student if some other person instead of putting hard work on uh, his career if he is actually engaged in such a kind of uh, disapproved behavior like teasing girls for an example <laughs> who will actually nobody will appreciate teasing girls okay it will call for punishment from the police okay that is known as disapproved behavior for which punishment will be there in our society by police okay just an example i have given to understand this exchange approach okay again i will repeat see exchange approach people will give rewards and punishment for approved and disapproved behaviors respectively example 
if a person is striving hard to excel in his life definitely he will be rewarded by the society as well as by the uh, the institutions whereas if a person is indulging in certain kind of criminal activities definitely that is a disapproved behavior and society will not actually encourage this kind of disapproved behavior and uh, society actually uh, directs him for punishment from police that is this that is known as the uh, disapproved behavior okay like this people's actually control like this uh, the people's are actually controlling this is how the state government or uh, this is how the government controls the people there are rewards and there are punishments for activities what people do that's how the society is maintaining its equilibrium okay which is very healthy for the smooth functioning of the society okay exchange approach and the third approach is known as ethno methodological approach very important approach ethno methodological approach this approach was put foot forward by harold grafin kell in 1967 harold grafin kell okay in the year 1967 ethno methodological approach has been put forward okay actually <coughs> this kind of approach what the ethno methodological approach has been put forward no is on how people view how people describe and how people share the meaning underlying everyday social life and social routine is explained is ethno methodological approach i'll repeat again in this approach the main focus is on people's view the main focus is on how people are going to describe a phenomena the main focus is on how people are sharing the meaning of everyday social life how people are sharing the meaning of everyday social routine that is there in ethno methodological approach very important approach okay now let's move on to the fourth approach that is known as symbolic interaction approach actually it was actually preferred by bloomer but uh, originally developed by j h mead george h mead originally put forward by george h mead very simple in may, uh, uh, very important okay see many times they have asked in exam uh, explain symbolic interaction approach of mead okay in detail we will be explaining this in the thinker section also symbolic interaction of mead okay actually according to this approach no symbolic interaction of mead uh, the interaction it, it it always take care of interaction that is taking place between peoples through symbols that is known as symbolic interaction i'll repeat again symbolic interaction is nothing but the interaction which is taking between peoples through symbols by using symbols people communicate that is known as symbolic interaction okay how means through gestures definitely through gestures no people communicate how if you laugh definitely people know that you are happy you are welcoming okay if the receptionist gives a smile for you that indicates that she is welcoming inside whenever you go for certain office receptionist gives smiles definitely it indicates she is welcoming okay uh, if uh, if she is angry that indicates if she is not smiling that indicates that uh, she is not interested in you like that okay she, gestures by gestures okay uh, for example another example we can give uh, teacher and student example in schools let us take in schools see how do teacher Uh, silence students when he is misbehaving in the class okay uh, all times he will, the teacher will not actually inform the student okay just raising the eyebrow is a signal for the student that he should keep quiet getting that is known as symbolic interaction gestures raising the eyebrow by the teacher indicates the students that no something is going to happen i have to be keep quiet okay that is the interaction between teacher and Uh, student by gestures of eyebrow of teacher indicating him to keep silent otherwise some punishment is there okay this kind of example i have given okay that is known as symbolic interaction okay some other examples we can give shared rules shared rules means if you are not going to pay electric bill definitely they will not supply electric power for you that is a shared rule 
okay and if you're not going to actually link your other card for an example we are taking okay recently they are collecting other cards to match the mobile numbers if you are not giving other card uh, they are all shared rules by the people okay some other uh, uh, symbols definitely written and uh, spoken language are also uh, symbolic interaction written language is also symbolic interaction email you are sending to your friend it is also symbolic interaction you are attaching meaning for the words what is there there okay written languages spoken languages all are symbolic interactions okay and the other examples if you stick no bills you can see on the compound okay on the compound no in government offices on the government offices some private houses also they will paste like stick no bills stick no bills means don't actually paste any papers here like that don't uh, paste posters of films film poster and all don't paste here like that that is the indication of stick no bills notice everybody might have seen that okay these are all actually the symbolic interaction okay that's it these are the four methods then people learn to attach symbolic meaning to these things and they order their lives on the basis of these meanings okay if they paste stick no bills the meaning of that one is don't uh, actually come and uh, paste the your uh, posters and all here film posters it may be film posters it may be advertisement posters don't paste here okay if uh, they if the people see that uh, stick nobles one day he will go to paste but uh, stick nobles is there so he will not paste another day he will not go itself there that means people learn to attach symbolic meaning to these things i uh, definitely know in traffic also we can see see everybody a will not go to that uh, traffic uh, office okay the rto office we will be calling it as you will not go to rto office rules of traffic something okay office you will not go to rto office and you will not actually learn okay that's a procedure but uh, how many people follow this okay definitely people follow this symbolic okay red light indicates uh, you have to stop in the signal green light indicates you have to go okay this who who taught this definitely red light means a, a symbol of danger light green light means green signal means a a an uh, indication of uh, non danger signal okay that's the reason signal they are actually red light and green light this meaning now uh, people have constructed people will attach meaning for them okay then uh, this approach focuses on various things like why and what process an individual becomes a beggar prostitute or a criminal very important okay a wide variety of things uh, this uh, uh, process actually uh, absorbs okay it will absorb why a person becomes beggar okay i don't think you people are also having answer for that one okay uh, see it's a serious matter why a person becomes beggar okay why some become prostitute okay no actually it's very complex and why a person becomes criminal okay this kind of things are actually judged by interaction approach okay and also we can give another exa other examples like how a person learns to smoke how a person learns to smoke definitely he will uh, uh, think see you ask any person who is actually uh, this kind of smokers you ask smokers chain smokers or smokers uh, they will tell why did you learn smoking you just ask he or she will tell i found uh, it pleasure that's the reason i learned smoking okay see initially they will come for this kind of smoking definitely by style <laughs> okay they will think that some pleasure will be there in this okay who has given the meaning that pleasure will be there in that cigarette definitely um, they might have by seeing others okay by seeing others some uh, if he, he or she is working hard after hard working they will go and have a smoke and come and uh, his colleague or somebody will see oh ho oh, what is happening here uh, when he get tensed uh, he or she will go and smoke so he will uh, get pleasure and the tension reduces okay this is an attached meaning where the colleagues learn and one day the colleague will also go and smoke he will think that some kind of pleasure i will get okay how this kind of uh, thing is happening symbolic interaction no 
okay how come this uh, person uh, uh, know that the pleasure is there in this cigarette definitely through symbolic interactions okay and some other examples if we give about symbolic interaction definitely we can give an example of uh, lecturer and students okay what are the techniques the lecturer is going to apply to keep the class in control see it's not easy see i was also in a teaching field okay <laughs> actually for two years i was uh, working uh, as an assistant professor in engineering college see <laughs> actually it's not easy to keep uh, the class in control okay we need to apply certain kind of tactics okay then only the students come to control okay actually it's an informal thing uh, a best example for interaction approach okay how this lecture is going to control the class and uh, some other examples if we take we can take an example like how a politician is going to control the angry mobs in society very important okay see definitely there will be angry no angry uh, these things will be there in society okay if some go government scheme uh, the government is launching definitely many people will disapprove if they are increasing the rate of this uh, cylinder okay the gas cylinder for cooking no if they are increasing the rate certain kind of uh, angry will be there by people okay if they are increasing the water bill angry if they are increasing certain other things angry if they are introducing gst angry okay how the politician is going to control this so definitely politician is going to control this one not bureaucracy okay, that is the job of politicians to control the mobs okay to control the anger what is there in the society that is the meaning of representation representative okay he is a people representative okay that is a tactics how the politician is going to control the angry of uh, uh, the mobs definitely he will control but how definitely through the interactionist perspective okay these are all the examples of interactionist perspective okay and uh, let's see what is the critics for this one see actually critic is the interaction perspective neglects larger social institutions and social processes which have powerful effects on social interaction and on personal experience okay as i have told earlier the interaction perspective always focuses on micro level not on macro level okay that is the uh, limitation of this uh, perspective it will neglect the larger social institutions that means it will neglect the macro social institutions and always concentrate on the micro level okay that's it guys this was the uh, end of uh, part 3 and uh, let's meet uh, in part 4 okay that's it bye